Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Pure Liberal Challenge. I'd like to, like to talk today about our world, our evil world, the world today. The world we all live in is fundamentally anti-Western, anti-American, anti-white, anti-male, and anti-Semitic. That really is a pretty good way to describe it. And the reason why it is this way is because it's simply a general product of the current irrational, illiberal dark age. There's nothing really wrong with Western society or America or white people or males or Jews, but that's just our ideology today. The West in general, compared to the Muslim world and the communist world, is very superior. America is not perfect, but in general it's the best country on earth. White people certainly have their flaws, but compared to the Orientals and the Blacks and everybody else, they're the best race on the planet by far. Males, they too have their flaws, currently and historically, just like the Whites, but they're the ones that accomplish everything. Males are the dominant, uh, the dominant uh, gender on the planet. And certainly when it comes to this, uh, the Jews, these people are more or less the driving engine of this planet. They're an amazing people, a very tiny group of people that uh, somehow managed to gather in one-third of all the Nobel Prizes or something stunning like that. And you might say, well, why is our world so evil? Why is our world so against itself? And there's no real answer except for the general one that that's just the way it is. This is a dark age. We used to live in a better period, something known as the Enlightenment. Back during the 1700s, we used to live in something known as the Age of Reason during the 1700s. That was the classical liberal era. And that was humanity at its best. But today's world can be described as generally self-hating and self-destroying. Right now, within the last couple of weeks, uh, a new book has come out by Robert Spencer called... Um, uh, religion of Peace, why, why Islam Isn't and Christianity Is. And he doesn't get it completely right, but he does describe Western society as being self-hating and suicidal. Now, um, Western liberal culture and Western liberal society is basically attacked by uh, two separate uh, groups from two separate directions. On the one hand, there's the conservatives or the right-wingers, uh, the people that are politically and philosophically conservative. And these are mainly the Jews, the Christians, and the Muslims, all of which, by the way, are secretly the same. Western liberal society is also attacked uh, by the progressives and the leftists, by the thinkers and the, by the political and philosophical thinkers on the left, mostly the communists, the socialists, and the, and the welfare statists. And these three are all secretly the same. I think that uh, humanity was at its best during the classical liberal era. Uh, during the era, era I just referred to, which is more or less the 1700s. But uh, the period of today has to be described as a dark age. I think that you can probably say that, that uh, humanity at its height was more or less the year 1785. And after that, the world went into a kind of de a decline. Uh, of course, uh, the period, the actual years I name are somewhat arbitrary, but I would say that perhaps the dark age began in a kind of a serious way in 1914, with uh, World War One, and it perhaps ended in 1985. The reason why I say this period from 1914 to 85, 1985 is because this is the period of, of course, Hitler and Mao and, Stout and Stalin. This is the area when Big Brother really did start to grow, when individual freedom and individual responsibility started to die. The reason why I say that uh, the world started to ascend again in 1985 is because that's the era of Reagan and Thatcher and Gorbachev. Of course, it's kind of arbitrary, but in general, the height of humanity up until recently was, was 1785. The very nadir was 1985, 200 years later. But I guess the good news is that uh, our world today has been experiencing a kind of a renaissance for the, for the last 20 years, for the last, uh, uh, for the last generation. It's becoming, in general, more rational and more liberal. Our world, in general, is becoming more healthy and more happy. And certainly it's becoming uh, more wealthy and more productive uh, economically. I think um, it's becoming, as I would interpret it, it's becoming more liberal. And what that means in very specific terms is more and more everywhere on earth we are embracing the philosophy of reason, rationality, logic, and science, the ethics of individualism, self-interest, and personal happiness, 
the politics of liberty, justice, and individual rights, the aesthetics of vivacity, dynamism, and heroism, and what I would actually call the spirituality of the, sub of the sublime, the transcendent, and the infinite. And that is pure liberalism, and that's the, that's the direction the world is going in, so there is actually a fairly decent reason to be happy about the world today. Yes, we are overwhelmingly anti-Western, anti-American, anti-white, anti-male, and anti-Semitic, and that's absolutely sick, that's absolutely wrong. It really does feel like, and maybe it even is, insane, but our world is ascending, we're becoming ever more liberal. And so there's reasons uh, to feel positive and, uh, and upbeat about the future.